Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. In today's video I'm going to be looking at piercings in film. Pretty much what I mean by that is that I'm going to be a sort of critiquing piercings in film, whether it's people getting pierced in film and like the ridiculousness of the technique or just the like <laughs> the way some piercings are portrayed in film. I thought I would show you guys these and just show like what I think when I see something like this and how god Damn, ridiculous so many of them are. I think what we really need to do is start with the quintessential movie that started all DIY piercings. And that is my girl, Lindsay Lohan, in the p, -p, -p parent trap. I just want to say that the actual filming of this is so great because it's only one person. So great. Yes. Good. Hand me the apple. The apple. And it looks so like browned. Hand me the browned apple, please. One, two, three. So brown. That is like a pretty big sewing needle though, I will say. Fantastic scene. Good work, Lindsay. It still deserved all the awards that you ever deserved. It wouldn't have slipped through it that easily because like even though uh, sewing needles may seem sharp, they're just, they're just like, it. To push one of those bad boys through an ear is still gonna like, it's gonna be kind of hard because they're just not like supposed to do that, obviously. So this next one is off Rat Race. <laughs> Fantastic song. <laughs> oh, he's caught a look at her. Such an old gal. Super alternative with her earpiece. <laughs> so like 90s slash early 2000s to be like that. Is she actually me though? Potentially. <laughs> She's me. <laughs> She is, he loves it. It's so like early 2000s to be like this obsessed with piercings like they're the coolest thing in the world. <laughs> Get your titties out, we love it. <laughs> Why did I not get this role on the movie? I do not know. It's so good, so hilarious because like, I feel like everyone has piercings now, but like back then it's like you were, like you were pretty edgy. Like you were a cool alternative girl. Like you were a freak. We want a lady in the street, but a freak in the bed. He's got his nipple pierced and he's got his tongue pierced and he is DTF. Back then, if you had piercings, you were so wild. Now it's just like, I feel as basic as the next person. Let's bring back the 90s, please, and thank you. Another one of my favorite piercing <laughs> scenes in a movie has to be one of the greatest movies of all time, 13. So they do two piercings. They do a navel and they do a tongue. And oh boy, that tongue piercing. Oh. It's 18, dude. Okay. Come on, I know you're a nice guy. Okay, cool. Pick me up at 5.30. Bye. Bye. Get on the chair. Just jump on the chair. No kind of consent form has been signed to say, like, you understand what is going to happen when this piercing goes down, slash, like, not, like, allowing the place to be liable, but maybe he's not signing it because he, he's doing something dodgy, and it's literally just making... <laughs> Venice looked like the dodgiest place on earth. What? 
Oh, he just jumps straight over there, picks up his gloves like that had just happened to be fucking sitting there, not in any kind of sterile field or anything, grabs his gloves, pops them on. <sighs> this is so stressful of a scene for me. Is she holding the needle right now? Is she smoking in the piercing shop? What? Just, and like Evie, like Nikki Reed's character is helping. Like she's done it so many times before. She literally has two piercings. She has her tongue pierced and her navel pierced and she's in the shop. She's like, I know how it's done. What? And still just like the sea, just like in and amongst all of that. Gross, this also, this whole area, their whole fucking shop area is like covered in like shit. So his entire piercing space, sterile area, um, is covered in shit. Like the autoclave is sitting right there. There's like just a bunch of crap all along there like there's no way like you can properly sterilize and clean these surfaces when you have that much shit on there and this is like the area that he's working in also like it's just a like big old open shop front uh does this place exist because like there are so many things so 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 very wrong with this whole place it's just like it can never properly be sterile or like properly cleaned what this is so bad, but this may actually be a running establishment, which really concerns me for like other places in the world. Wow. Um, just smoking right in her face. I need to tell a hilarious story time in regards to that sort of thing. <laughs> <laughs> and I love his technique holding his clamp like as if we aim like like that like as if we love it it's so hilariously great in so many ways because it is so wrong in so many ways I feel like these sort of things are a reason why like certain people who haven't like educated themselves on piercings and that sort of thing they see like stuff like this and they're like that's the type of places you go when you're getting a piercing or a tattoo literally disgusting and like sleazy and just creepy and just like the worst thing ever but like professional places aren't like that yes i no doubt no doubt know that there are tattoo shops and piercing like studios that are dodgy very dodgy yeah i just hate like how it can be portrayed in films to be that creepy but like at the same time if a 13 year old is going out and getting a piercing on their own like it's going to be a dodgy place this is still 13 after they've gone to the skeezy af uh piercing studio you want it so bad yeah i want it look what i got from the tattoo shop oh no and it's just like dangly and does not even look like navel jewelry at all. It looks like such a thin gauge and like also looks like a ring which you would never pierce a navel with to begin with. Like, but like, please at least research something to sort of make it seem believable. Right now. Yeah. And no one's washed their hands. They've just so been can... smoking ciggies. Let's just get right into it. This is probably going to hurt worse than your tongue. I don't give a shit, just do it. Um, no, it won't hurt. Most of the time, it's not going to hurt worse than your tongue. Most people say like a navel is fine. Some people have it very, very bad. But in this case, yeah, it's going to hurt worse than your tongue. Your fucking dirty friend is just going to be hacking at your navel right now. Bite your little teddy and... What is happening? 
I hate when I see like people just like grabbing at the navel or like your stomach area and just like shoving a needle in anyway, like just full force going for it. And also it's just not like a swift, quick movement. I don't think people realize how sharp like piercing needles actually are, but you can go all the way through and you're gonna prick your fucking self. Um, it's definitely not how it happens. Professionals are gonna use clamps. If you've got a clamp, it's so quick, like it's holding the tension. Your clamps are there to assist you greatly rather than just like, let's just grab it and like see what happens. Fuck! There'd be so much blood. There would be. Cause Everything okay? she's just like, yeah, we just saw the she's kind of put a needle through. Your daughter's a bad, bad girl. Yuck, Trace yuck cool dog. Not scared of needles. You can go and get tattoos. <laughs> More piercings. I will say I would 100% be convinced by Nikki Reed if she was laying next to me and saying that I would be like, do whatever you want to me, pierce whatever you want. So like in this situation, I've got to say, I feel bad for the girl. She can't help it. Nikki Reed is a beautiful woman and you'll do anything to be best friends with her. Once again, like another film just showing how like sick piercings were back in like the 90s, early 2000s. Piercings are just, you're just like super edgy. If you enjoyed this video, please give me a like down below and subscribe to my channel. Let me know in the comments which one you thought was the most ridiculous or just which one was your favorite scene to watch. And also let me know if you love 13 as much as I do.